love chores! Woo! Yep, just delivered off that frickin' Spiro, and now it's time to go back and show the professor my frickin' Pokemon that hatched out of an egg that isn't useful to me. Mm hmm. At least till Gen 4, it's not. Yep. But anyway, welcome back to the Pokemon Generation 2 podcast. Mm hmm. We are, well, making our way back to, uh, our main town. Because, well, got nothing better to do, apparently. Or, because... Shut up! Yeah, <laughs> I'm going back home, what are you going to do about it? Oh yeah, right, I wanted to show this off, I think. Never mind, it was a Spearow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, know that I have the Pokeball icon neck under uh, Spearow's name. I never caught him, but because I owned him, I technically am told that I had caught it, because I had him my party at one point. Mm. That's one good thing about that side quest of delivering the Spearow to the guy. If you never caught a Spearow, you can always try to evolve it and then give it away. Or like I said before, change the mail, put it on a useless Pokemon, and get rid of that instead. Yeah. So yeah, um, anyway, I'm gonna try to finish this game list. Yes, yeah, so we're still working on that surf list, but we kept getting sidetracked from things. Yes. I mean, there's a lot to sidetrack with Pokemon, that's just always how this game is. Nothing good in that tree, I'm leaving. Yeah. Yep. Um. Uh. Drampa can learn it. Oh, yeah, Drampa. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right, Delmise, um, can learn it, which is the. The one that's, like, the anchor looking one, which. I actually do like this one in terms of, like, concept, because. It's not so much the anchor itself as a Pokemon, it's the algae on the anchor. Right, right, That's right. That's the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. That is kind of cool. That is a nice Pokemon design. Plus, it, it does help that it's like ghost grass, so it's like the algae's possessing the anchor. Yeah, it's nuts. At least it's not like mushroom spores. That is true. Hey, Mom, could you stop stealing uh... my money? Uh, grapple lock can learn it, but that kind of makes sense considering where you find those fuckers. Yeah, they're 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 fucking octopi. They may as well know how to surf. <laughs> but you find them in the waters, just running after you if they spot you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I keep forgetting about that. God. Um. Uh. Uh, Gene Simmons, I mean, Obstagoon can learn it. It is an evolution of the, uh... Yeah, the Zigzagoon the... line, specifically a Galarian form, yeah. Of the HM Slave, yep, yep. All... Mm -hmm. Once an HM Slave, always an HM Slave. Yep. I guess technically, uh... Cursola would count, because the... It is an evolution of the Galarian form of Corsola. Yeah. Yeah. And the original course is water based, so I guess why change it? Yeah, so but the the Galarian form of course was ghost, so Yeah. It is weird. Oh my god, I found one! <laughs> what? I found a Harrow Cross! Nice! You can bash a lot of trees near home and you can actually get lucky and have a Harrow Cross fall out. Woo! <laughs> Just keep in mind, it's typing is bugging fighting, so it's super weak to flying type moves, but its physical Which, attack is tremendous. Thankfully, the only real flying threat you had was Faulkner, and you've already dealt with his ass by the time you would have gotten this move, so... Yeah. Yep, you don't really have a lot of Pokemon to worry about. In regards to Heracross being hurt. But this fucker is difficult to catch, so you gotta work your ass off to try to catch it. Now, if only you could have gotten this fucker for Whitney. Yeah, if only. I mean, you could have tried to bash trees to eventually get one. I don't know if it learns yep. any fighting moves that early. Yeah. Because I know it... Damn it! It does learn one of the, um... 
It does have an exclusive bug move that is no longer exclusive as of Gen 4, I want to say. Uh, yeah. Mega Horn! Yep. That move is a beauty. Yes, it is. Like, the only bug move you're just like, OH SHIT! It's like a physical- it's like a physical bug version of Fire Blast in terms of power and accuracy. Yeah. It's a vicious bug move, so if you have a- if you're fighting against a heap that has psychic and dark types, you can fuck them up! Yep. If only it was easy to maintain a Heracross. Cause you still gotta catch the fucking thing. Yes. Uh, let's see. Back to, to, back to the list, because we're almost done with this. Yes, we are a Gen 8 Pokemon now. Yes, uh, Pinkakurin. Can learn it. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, Ice Key, which I've already mentioned, uh, because yep. it's all by TM slash Technical Records. Hang Or works. HM, whatever. Yep. Uh, Art Tazolt can learn it. Yes, yes. Uh, Dragovish can learn it. That makes sense. Or no, well, oh, actually, actually, it is hard water, so I, I just kind of glanced over for a second. Right, right. I keep forgetting it was, it was a dragon of water type. That is weird. Yeah. I just forget about that. But then again, with how fossils work in Gen 8, it's kind of weird. It's weird they have four but, Pokemon based on which halves you do. It's so weird. Yeah, which is kind of... Based on some actual history, where when fossils were first digged up, like, some bones got mixed and matched. Yeah. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. You got the so two there is are... some history behind- There is some history behind that, so... I mean, yeah, Pokemon based a lot of their- based a lot of the lore of their creatures based on, like, historical accuracy of things. Yeah, um, anyway, the final one of this version of the list with the- TM, HM, slash, technical record. The, so it's, uh, Drag, Loke, and Dragapult. I don't know if there's another form before that, but those two of that line can learn it. I know Dragapult's the last version of that, yeah. Alright, so there are, like, three mods to it? Yes. I think it's the first form. Okay, so then only, so only the first form of that line can not learn it. Which makes sense, I think it's a very basic dragon, or ghost dragon. That is your pseudo-legendary yep. dragon in that game, I'm pretty sure, so... Yes. Why can't I catch you, Heracross?! You asshole! Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this thing's an asshole. So, yep. you really gotta work at it. Or let it run. Yep. Fuck! Well, fuck you! Mm-hmm. Yep, and that's another really annoying thing they started doing with this game, and I think Gen 3 as well. Some stronger, hard-to-find Pokémon eventually will just be like, FUCK YOU, and run away! Mm-hmm. I don't think they did that in Gen 1. No, I don't Except think in the so. Safari Zone, but that's different. Yeah. But, oh... Oh, God. In Pokémon GO... Uh, Smeargle can get it. And get... Uh, Surf. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then again, technically, Smeargle can learn anything. Yeah, it specifically says by, uh... Go Snapshot, whatever the fuck that means. Huh. Oh, okay. Then again, technically, Pseudo Wudo could learn Surf, because it has Mimic. Well, I don't think that really counts. Yeah, I know. Thing. I know. You can't actually learn this move. Fuck you! I saw somebody else do it. I can do it too. Oh, okay. Like I, like I feel like in order to count as learning it, yeah, it yeah. has to be permanently in your move pool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't mimic stay on you permanently or no? <laughs> Any move that you you learn via mimic, no. Oh, it's it just only for that battle. battle. Oh, it's only for that battle. I thought it was exactly. Sketch like is the only. Sketch is the only move, to my knowledge, that permanently copies any move used by an opponent. Wish you were there to correct me when I was talking about mimic earlier. Well, now I sound like a fucking idiot. All right, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I, was like, I thought it was exactly like sketch. God damn it. 
Oh, anyway, nope. we're finally here at the bug con the bug catching contest. You have 20 park balls. You may keep the last Pokemon you catch, so try to catch a strong bug. In case you're wondering how the bug catching contest works, oh, the the way they calculate the points is fucking stupid. Yes. Which, I have a story about this one. Oh, God. Back when I first played my original Gold Cartridge, which I still have the save file to this day, because the save file still works, as I've come to learn. Nice. Well, actually, no, the original save file's been gone, wiped, I don't know what happened, but I know the save file works at least. Oh, nice. My original yellow file still is still there. That's good. Yeah, um... So, I caught, like, because one of the promoters told me, oh yeah, Pinto's a really good Pokemon to have with this. So, of course, I caught one of these fuckers, mm -hmm. thinking, oh, I was a shoe in Only to become in second place. Mm -hmm. And what is my, the person that comes in first place win with? A goddamn Pinsir! Yep. <laughs> yep, Pinsir is one of the big ones to get from here. And hey, at least Pinsir and Scyther aren't version exclusives this time around. <clears throat> Yay! They're just hard to find in Pokemon contests, particularly the Bug Hunting contests, particularly Scyther. Because I always run the Pinsir, I never run the Scyther. I forget if you can keep all the ones you get from the um, Bug Hunting contest. Then get entered in your Pokedex, but you only keep the last one you caught. The one you submit is the one you uh, keep. Ah, uh, okay. That but any sense. of them you catch will technically get registered to your Pokedex. So. Gotta catch them all! <laughs> but yeah, for this, you can only use one Pokemon as well, by the way. So make sure your Pokemon can withstand it. Because once, mm -hmm. once 20 minutes is up, or you run out of Park Balls, or if your Pokemon faints, the contest is over. Yeah. So make sure that Pokemon has a move like Hypnosis, like what I had with freaking Mr. Owl there. That way, you can keep putting Pokemon to sleep to make it easier to catch them. Also, if you're mm -hmm. curious about the score calculation, basically, at the end of the contest, whoever's the highest score wins. In case you're wondering how the score is calculated, I have the entire list right here for the Gen 2 calculation. Woo! The stats are the following. It's the max HP of the Pokemon times 4, plus the sum of the Pokemon's other stats, plus... Up to 29 <laughs> points! Up to 29 points based on the individual values of the Pokémon! Mm -hmm. For all these stats, if half of the of the IV for that stat rounds down to an odd number, you get points, otherwise it's zero. Those would be 16 points for defense, 8 for attack, 4 for special, and 1 for speed. How did you catch a shiny Pokemon? You're guaranteed to have all of them, all those points. Because how mm -hmm. shinies work in that generation. And the reason yep. about damaging it, one eighth of the current HP of the Pokemon rounded down also gets thrown in. And you also get an extra point if it's holding an item. So, yeah. I hate that there's a lot of points you can get from the IV values. So, basically, your chance of winning is based on your RN Jesus. Yep, that's why I try not to damage Pokemon when I catch them. <laughs> Just put them to sleep and hope to God that you catch them at near max HP. If you gotta damage them a bit, it's fine. But, you wanna try to not damage them if you can help it. These park yeah. balls are basically like those goddamn safari balls, so... They're basically I mean, like they're Pokeballs. Ba yep. Pain in the ass. Which, in case you're curious, apparently the best possible Pokemon Gen 2 you can get is a Scyther with maxed out IVs at level 14. Yeah. And that would give you a high score of 386. Because based on the Pokemon Generate, that's the best you can get. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Pinsir comes close, but Scyther's is a little bit higher. Yeah. And that's how the contest works. They changed it for the remake of Gen 4, but it makes more sense. Oh! 
that's cool. I didn't realize in the remake, when they, uh... And yeah, the, in the Gen 2 remake, once you get the National Pokedex, the contest gets updated as well. Because they add Pokemon and their levels increase. Hmm. And you get extra points based on how rare the Pokemon is to find, as well as how strong it is. And it's a lot simpler in frickin' Gen 4 than this generation. Hmm. Because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? You like how I wasted almost all my park balls trying to catch a fucking pincer? I know, right? <clears throat> And that's what's annoying about this Pokemon con catching contest. Which, by the way, you can only do this once per day, only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Because this is the first Pokemon game to have a clock and super basic calendar. Yes! Well, there are events that can happen on certain days and certain times of the day. Mm hmm So, on Tuesday or Thursday, or whatever you have your clock set to, you can come here to come catch some fun bug, bug Pokemon. Now I have a pincer! So, time to see if I can catch a better Pokemon. Oh, the greatest! <laughs> but yeah, your, your best Pokemon to get are Scyther, Pincer, and the Foy of all forms of Metapod and Kakuna, Butterfree and Beedrill, respectively. Even catch one of those while barely damaging them, you'll be in good shape to hopefully win. Mm. Which you can always save scum your way to winning, but do you really want to play like yeah. that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because fuck this uh, mechanic. Yeah, I, I do it all the time. Because I'll say this. For certain Pokemon, you probably will want the, the big prize. The first place prize is actually pretty worth it. At least you're trying to evolve certain Pokémon. Which I think only two of them evolve in this method? In yeah. Gen 2? One which is weak, and one that is actually a decent alternative evolution to a previous Pokémon. Hmm. I can't catch a Caterpie at freaking. Fuck you! How do you feel to catch a goddamn Caterpie? But yeah, this book had a cost as a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can either wait to level up a bit if you want to feel more confident having a Pokemon that won't die, or, you know, just <laughs> try to brute force it and hope you get lucky. Which, yep, in case you can't tell, once you catch another Pokemon, you can choose to swap it with the one you caught previously, or get rid of the previous one with the new one you got. I'm just looking for rare Pokemon. You're not gonna find any rare ones here other than the two big bugs. Oh my god, a bee drill! Oh, not the bees! Not the bees! <clears throat> well, I have one more Pokeball. Well, may as well try to catch it. Why the fuck not? Yeah. It's a fucking bee drill. Yes! <clears throat> yeah. And look, like I said, they get after your Pokedex even if you don't keep them. So, you know. This is a good way to fill out some of your Pokedex if you don't feel like going after all these Pokemon on your own. Then again, it's the only place you can catch Pinsir and Scyther, so you may as well do that anyway. And, after you run out of balls or whatever happens, they judge the Pokemon that you've caught. So here are your winners! Third was William, who caught a Butterfree. 326 points. Second was Barry, who had a Venonat. You got second with a Venonat? Mm -hmm. Fuck you! And the winner was <laughs> Pac Mule the Pincer. The second score is 334. I 336. Oh my god! Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of luck based. They have like a select pool of like, you know, Pokemon that people can catch. But yeah. You know, number one prize is a Sunstone. Mm hmm So, yeah. That could be used to evolve a few Pokemon. Yes. With one of them being uh, Sunkern, 
Yes. And the other is an alternate evolution of Gloom. Yes, which, which you're more going to use it for that one. Yeah, because that evolution's good, and it gets rid of the poison type, so you can get rid of one of its weaknesses. Yes. To turn into a pure grass type, which... Other than Tangela before that, there wasn't another pure grass type before that. Yeah, that is true. Well, I guess the the, the bay leaf line. Or yeah. The chikaru line, yeah, technically. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Right, Tangle is the only one in Gen 1, and then Gen 2. That's right, Gen 2 is like the only set of all the starters where they're just purely fire, water, grass the entire time. Except Generation 8. They did that again, there. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely forgot about that. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Even Rillaboom, yeah. God damn it. Well, show so yep. much I pay attention. Because Fire yep. was on a fight and... Oh, I was on a fighting addiction for a bit. Mm hmm. And then it had Psychic, and then it had Dark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was exactly it. Okay. And you're curious about the other prizes of Bug Catching Contest. Second place, I think you get an Everstone. Which, if you hold that on a Pokemon, they'll never evolve. If you don't. If you don't want to have to cancel it manually every time. For some reason. Yeah. The consolation prize, if you don't get one of the top three spots, is a regular berry. Third place prize is a gold berry, which is basically 30 HP, I think, instead of 10. And that's about yeah. it. That's all bug catching contest in a nutshell. Fun, huh? Yeah. The only things worth getting out of it are catching the uh, Scyther and Pinsir, maybe a Venonat, and if you didn't complete the uh, Caterpie and uh, Metapod, the Caterpie and Weedle lines. Mm. And getting a Sunstone. Other than that, not too much use out of it, but there you go. It's also a good way to get some free Pokemon. Mm, yeah. Ah. Uh... If only other generations had fun contests like that, you catch Pokemon basically for free. Again, I don't mm. think Gen 3 is anything fun like that. <laughs> yeah. Gen 3 brings back something from Gen 1, and the rest of the areas are just torture. Yeah. Hope you like some catching some of the best Pokemon in the game in a fucking sandstorm. That's cool. Yeah, I know. I was trying to think. I thought there were other lists you were looking at. Was there one of like, where they look up like Arceus and we can learn every HM move? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm looking into that now. Okay, okay. Yeah, I did look into the Baneri thing, even though I did text edit it. Yeah, their friendship is at zero for some reason. So when you catch Baneri and Lopini, their friendship is at zero. And it's not a glitch. Apparently, it's intentional. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Why them, though? I think you know the answer to that. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Fucking rabbits. God damn it. Always so weird. They're freaking... Lacking of trust. Yet they fuck constantly. I can't be that distrusting. Right. <clears throat> well, I can definitely tell you offhand, just from looking at the list. Arcus no, it can't learn every. It cannot learn every TM and HM because the very first one it can learn as of Gen Eight is TM Two, which is Dragon Call. I mean, I know it can learn every single move. I was just more curious if it can learn every HM. It's not like that's, Mew that can actually learn everything. No, I'm saying in terms of it can't learn every move is what I'm saying. Well, it can't learn every move. I was saying more specifically HMs, but. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm right. saying it cannot. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Because like I said, just looking at it, yeah. the very first um, move it learns via 
TM slash HM is Dragon Claw, which is TM2. Right. Ah! What the? God damn you, Clefairy Metronome! Yeah, right, let's see. You just got fucking hyper beam. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> so yeah, beware Metronome. Especially Gen 2, it's pretty frightening what moves it pulls out. Fucking hyper In Gen 4, beam. it can learn every HM! I'm not that surprised. And it probably can learn, like, the second most moves right behind Mew. I would imagine. You can learn all eight HMs. Yep. I mean, that is the land where it cultivated everything, so I guess it would know how to do everything there. Yeah, but it can't learn every TM, though. Yes. There are some things even God is incapable of, such as caring for his creations. Oh my goodness! Oh my Arceus! Just tell him like this. Every... <laughs> uh, there's only how many HMs are in Gen Five? I want to say seven. Because I can only learn the first five, apparently, in Gen Five. Because I'm pretty sure there are seven. Because I know Devog is still there. <gasps> yes, we finally have an illusion. Oh, thank God! You're more useful now, Mister. Yeah, because I can learn Deep Defog in. Time Pearl Platinum and uh, World Pearl and Arc World Soul Silver. Right, right. Oh, Whirlpool. We'll get to you eventually. Fucking Whirlpool. God, I hate that move. Yep. Oh, yeah, by the way, I don't think I. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but Ball Picks and Silver is an exclusive in this generation. Again. Volpix and Growth are still version exclusive. Where you find one in one gen, you find the other in the other gen. In the, uh. Nah. You find one in one version, you find the other in the other version. So, yep, if you were playing gold, you'd find Growth where I'm finding Volpix right now. If you care about the version exclusivity thing. Now, I'm pretty sure I show off almost every single version exclusive in this game. I think. Oh, Togepi, you're so cute. You're ready to die to Vulpix? Oh, you don't—you can't even attack. Get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. In Generations 2 and 3, Pokemon that hatch from eggs come out level 5, not 1. Oh, I always forget about that. Makes me wonder why they changed it to level 1 come Generation, uh... 3. I mean, Generation 4. Eh. Coda, are you there? I can't hear you. Okay, either something has happened on his end, or he mysteriously left it. I did not know. Well, not much more is happening this episode, anyway. Uh... Okay, there you are. Okay. Well, once again, I had to do the same bullshit again. Huh. It's a pattern. That is weird. Well, it could also be your computer, depending on how your setup is. I mean, it's the same setup I've been using. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks, Beverly, for calling me. Oh, another rematch. All right. At the National Park. Uh I just met you! Like, not long ago! Damn! Yeah, no, right? Jesus! Yeah, I watched you go out that door. I realized I wanted to battle you again. Jeez! Bitch, I just left! Then again, I still like the method this game does for rematches over Gen 3s. Because Gen 3s, yeah. you literally have to, like, look through the name list. And say, like, oh, all these trainers want a rematch for me. Where are they? Hell if I know. Yep. And they gave you the route where they are, were, but that's about it. Yep. I forgot to mention that earlier. This is the game that finally introduced like, rematching trainers, not counting the Elite Four. Yep. And I'm trying to think where it had its best improvement. I would say Gen 4, although 
Honestly, I still think I like Gen 2's execution, except for the limited numbers you can carry. Mm-hmm. It's the only thing I didn't like about it. Yeah. And again, the remakes fix, fix that problem. That way you get calls from people rematches. Like Gen 3, we had to look through a list and try to remember who they were. And Gen 4, you had to use an item to be like, oh, can I rematch somebody here? Yes, I can. Or, oh, this is a waste of time. Let me go take 100 steps yeah. before I try it again. <sighs> yeah. All right, well, anyway, let's end this episode here. Yep. So, come back next time. We'll actually go through Ecritique City. Woo! See you then.